Hi everyone! Um, so today is April 10th, Tuesday, April 10th, and I have been on a journey for one week. And this is my second video update from the road. For those of you that don't know, briefly, I left to go work with a peace organization called Operation People for Peace to work with a man named uh, Reverend Art Rocker. He has been instrumental in helping the people of the Gulf of Mexico, specifically people that had an economic impact from the oil spill, you know, hotel owners, but not necessarily the owners, but but primarily like the, the maids of the hotel or the waiters at the restaurants. A lot of big, super rich um, hotel owners, all the big corporate owners got paid out from BP, um, but the maids haven't gotten paid and the waiters haven't gotten paid, and the people of the community, the ones that are actually fishing, haven't gotten paid. Um, so there has been a lot of people that have gotten paid, but over a million people have been if affected by the oil spill, financially. So there's a lot of people that aren't getting represented in court, that aren't getting the help that they deserve, and so I, I just, I wanna help in any way that I can, and so I'm, I'm working with this peace organization. Um, you know, really briefly, we, we use the churches as a network where we'll go into an underserved community and we will have a, you know, discussion on the situation, the economic impact, and help people fill out their claims. And there's over 15,000 people that this organization has already um, collected. And, you know, we're trying to get, you know, as many as possible to help um, as many people as possible um, get their, you know, get a paycheck from BP f that they fairly deserve. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And yesterday, I, I wanted to make a quick video about yesterday um, because yesterday I can't even really wrap my head around it. And I just, you know, I have really bad memory. <laughs> and, uh, I don't want to forget what happened yesterday, so I just need to, like, put it out there in the universe. Um, so Art Rocker, the reverend I'm working with, is a chairman of the SCLC. And the SCLC stands for the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. And uh, the SCLC was founded by uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, back in the... Uh, late 50s or early 60s as a network, as a way to uh, network with cities across the South um, and fight for civil rights and for justice. Um, it wasn't originally going to be called the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, but that's what they ended up going with. But primarily it was a network to spread awareness about nonviolent civil disobedience. And, um, you know, which is what Occupy Wall Street based their movement on. What it was supposed to be based on was nonviolent. Um, nonviolent civil disobedience. That's exactly what we did. Um, and what people out there are still doing. And I love you, Occupy Wall Street. And everybody out there that's still occupying you are amazing. Oh my God, I love you. Anyway, so to be really brief as possible, because I really don't want to make a long video, um, I had the incredible honor to go to the SCLC headquarters, founded by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., one of my, like, heroes, and um, met with the entire board of directors. And, you know, the, the people who make the, the organization run, okay? And not only did I just meet members of the SCLC um, in, in a boardroom, um, we had lunch together, it's crazy, uh, but they themselves are just as heroic and brave and instrumental in the civil rights movement as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I mean, they were his friends, um, but they were also huge, you know, activists and had a huge impact on the civil rights movement. Um, I met Bernard Lafayette um, and C.T. Vivian, now, for anybody that hasn't seen anything about the Freedom Riders, or if you haven't watched the Freedom Riders documentaries, there's like a ton of them, you have to go and watch them. They, 
I, I was watching them last year when I was hoping for a revolution and, and, and I was inspired by them and then eventually Occupy Wall Street happened so it was kind of this like, you know, I was inspired by their movement and it helped me join and make a new movement. So, um, I mean, I was literally sitting with civil rights history yesterday at a lunch table and we talked about Occupy Wall Street. They had questions, they had advice, they, um, you know, they just, they just, I, I, I felt, I, I was like crying inside because I couldn't believe that I was sitting with civil rights um, history. And, and then, uh, Ila Gandhi, Gandhi's granddaughter, um, came from South Africa to meet with them. And, uh, they, they had a meeting, an organizational meeting, um, preparing for the first ever global peace conference run by the MLK, you know, crew and the Gandhi crew. Um, you know, basically both families are coming together and realizing that there's a need for a new world peace movement and that they need to start teaching world peace in like elementary and middle school. Um, and I just, I mean, I literally watched history yesterday. Um, I, I, I can't even begin to explain. I would like take moments to like just go to the bathroom and kind of like freak out and like cry and and just be like, how am I getting this opportunity to see this? Um, but I feel like, well, whatever. Um, I feel like there's a reason for everything. And, and, and what they were talking about was after like, we talked about Occupy Wall Street, you know, I kept saying that like, you know, the corporate control, corporate power, the, you know, the injustice of the financial situation with the taxes and the, and the, the gross, like, Dis, you know, distance between the rich and the poor in America, but then of course around the world. Like the richest 300 people in the world are, like, have more money than like billions of people in the world. 300 people have more money than billions of people combined, okay? And it's not because of hard work, it's not because of this, it's not because of that, it's because they've taken control of local governments. Anyway, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna go on a spiel here. Anyway, um, the point is, is that corporate control and corporate power and corporate accountability is going to be instrumental in moving forward in this country and in this world, okay? You know, we don't need slaves working, child slaves and slave labor overseas. It, it, we just, okay, anyway, sorry, I'm not going on a rant again. Ah, but they were talking about corporate accountability and then they were talking about environmental justice and world peace and and it's like yeah 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 that's exactly what we need to be talking about and what we need to be doing in, in order to move forward and it was just it's it's incredible and so i feel like this is the beginning of a new movement with historic families and historic institutions coming together they're doing a global peace conference in uh in south africa and I'm going to be helping organize it. I don't know if I'm going to get the opportunity to go, but it doesn't really matter. I am just happy that this is happening. And I think that the reason why I was there was the universe just wants me to kind of just like relax and, uh, you know, stay calm and just know that, um, you know, that the right people are doing what they need to be doing and uh, and that and that there are a lot of people that are doing a lot of really great work around this country and around the world and um, you know we just need to keep fighting and we just need to keep being vocal and we need to keep dreaming and believing in a brighter future so I don't know I'm 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 honored that I got to participate and uh, and so that's that. It's already a really long video. Sorry again, guys. I'll try to make them shorter next time. I don't know. Um, anyway, we're going to be in Louisiana on Thursday. And um, I will let everybody know what happens there. I'm hoping to meet with people that were actually on the oil rig the day that it blew up. That is my 
my goal. Um, people who were severely injured on the rig. I'm going to be in their city, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, thank you again for the support. I really appreciate it. And, um, and uh, thanks for watching. And uh, one last thing, April 20th, 420, it's easy to remember, um, is a, is a two-year anniversary of the oil spill, the two-year memorial. And uh, we need all the help we can to raise awareness that children are sick in the Gulf of Mexico. And it's very simple. That's what my goal is. That's my mission, to raise awareness about the sick children in the Gulf. Because I feel like if enough people knew about the sick children in the Gulf of Mexico, there would be enough rage to actually hold BP accountable and arrest the men who caused the oil spill. Robert Calusa needs to be arrested and anybody else who was on the rig that caused the problem. So anyway, thanks again for listening. Peace.